sweet friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this collaboration. So I am collaborating with Jen at Good Home and that's G-O-O-D-E Home. And she had reached out to me and asked me if I would like to do a collaboration video with her. So I was so honored that she chose me to do this collaboration with. I love Jen, I love her home. She's very cozy, she thrifts. Um, she believes in a cozy home on a budget just lifestyle. I mean, her home is just one of those homes where you wanna sit down, have a cup of coffee or tea or a glass of wine and just talk and just look at all the beauty that surrounds her home. She's always budget friendly, which we all love, especially in these times. And she also has like a farmhouse cottage look in her home as well, which is so great that she chose me who is going from farmhouse to kind of cottage but even with farmhouse and cottage, you know, they both kind of go together hand in hand. So like, again, I was so excited for Jen and you're gonna love her. She's just, she's beautiful inside and out. She's full of fun. She's full of energy. Um, she'll make you laugh sometimes. And like I said, her home, the thrifted things she finds, you think I find good things, <laughs> she finds great things. Um, so I would love for you after this video is over, I'm gonna leave all her information it's going to be below in the description box and I'm also going to leave it at the end of the video with a picture um, just so you can see. You, know, you can follow us both over on Instagram and please follow us both over here on YouTube. And hello to everybody from Jen who came over here to my channel and my name is Tina. I also do all things home friendly on a budget, a lot of thrifting, a lot of decorating and a lot of redecorating after the decorating and try to do all I can to make our home feel like a cozy cottage on a budget. And I do try to thrift most of the things that I get. So I think Jen and I are both doing our hutches, which is exciting and I can't wait to see what she does with hers. So again, make sure after this video, you hop on over to hers, say hello, tell her I sent you and show her and her YouTube channel and her Instagram channel or account some love because she definitely deserves it. She's just, she's a hidden gem. Okay, <laughs> got all that out. So I am going to be doing my hutch. So this is the hutch that I picked up off of Facebook Marketplace and I only paid $65 for it. And I just love it, so let me show it to you right now. Okay, so this is the hutch. The only thing I did so far was I just add these two little wreaths so far and this little lamp, which stayed there. Um, but it came in two pieces and the person that I bought it from, his wife got it to decorate got it, decorated it, and figured out she wanted something else. And so I was lucky enough to pick this up for $65. And it's just such a pretty hutch. It has the chicken wire in here. It's definitely distressed. It's definitely old. And it has a beautiful um, bottom to it as well. And that's the Mrs. Padmore hat. And if you want to know more about the Mrs. Padmore hat, I will link other videos there so you can find out why I call it that. Okay, so right now I have two wreaths and I got these from Hobby Lobby last year. So I decided to hang these up, one on each side. And I thought they definitely have the cottage vibe to it. Again, I am trying to do everything I can with thrifted items or thrifted um, items I already had and I'm not using any pumpkins or signs or anything like that. So I'm trying to keep it original cottage. And the inside, I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of like a dark navy slash black. And it definitely has the wood showing. So this is it before we start. <clears throat> okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna decorate the top. And like I said, I will um, list other videos down below so you can see how it looked before I emptied it all out. So on the top, I am going to be putting this beautiful picture that was thrifted with these wooden spoons. So we're gonna be putting that right on top. Right there. And then with that, and I thought it kind of screams fall but it's just this vintage basket that I thrifted and it does have a lid, but I just kind of slid it on the back. And I'm using some old kitchen tools 
and an old muffin tin. I had seen somebody else do that at some point and I thought that was just such a great idea. So, whoops, little kitty's getting in the way. Um, so I'm also gonna be using this at the top. So I think this is a great fall touch just because of the browns, the muted tones, I think it goes really well. I'm also gonna put that at the top. Just like that, perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna go <clears throat> to the first shelf. And I had found this thrifting and I was so excited. And again, it was in one of my other thrifting videos, but it's a Curier and Ives cake plate. But I just think it's so beautiful. And I know with the blue, it's not really kind of fall themed, but I absolutely love it. And like I always say, if you love something, then use it. If you love it, it's not wrong. So this is not wrong. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using this to center the middle. <laughs> just like that. So then another thing that I had thrifted was this beautiful pitcher. It doesn't have any markings on it, um, but it does have the kind of mustard yellow and dark blue stripe. So I thought that was a great fall addition. And I had these already, these kind of fall stems with that kind of mustard yellow in it. And I just thought it would look so good in here. So we're gonna do just like this. And I think it just looks beautiful. So we're gonna put that over here. Like that. Then for the other side, I did thrift this beautiful copper teapot. And I think it's old, but I'm not 100% sure. And it does have some scuff marks on it. So I think it was old, but somebody shined it back up. So I think I'm gonna unshine it again. But for now, I was gonna just use it as is. And I just think it's so pretty and copper pieces always scream fall. I'm gonna put that up here. <coughs> just like that. So now we are gonna do the second shelf. And I've got a few things also that I thrifted. I saw the price on this one on the other side. I didn't even know that. Um, so I'm gonna use a cutting board and this one's kind of old and beat up and I like it like that. And I know you guys like that stuff too. So I'm gonna put that in the middle. Like so. And then this is a very old Bible that I kind of always keep. So I'm gonna put this in here. So, and then I'm going to use, so I have this other little sugar bowl that I thrifted. And I have these old clothespins that I also bought at an antique store. So I just kind of tied them with string and I thought I would just kind of pop them in there like so, and then just kind of slide the lid off the back just a tiny bit. So I'm gonna do that right there. There we go, just like that. And then I also have another copper piece that I thrifted. <clears throat> I think it could have been an oil can at one time, but I'm not exactly 100% sure, but I'm definitely going to use this. And I also have this white creamer, that's ironstone. And I thought it was so pretty. And I had some more clothespins. I don't know why clothespins remind me of fall, but they just always have. So I'm gonna use these in here like so. And just kind of tuck the string down in there. But I think I'm gonna move this. And I'm gonna put it just like this. And this is the little lamp that I have that always stays on the hutch. So that's always there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the next thing I'm going to do 
is I also have this um, wooden scooper. Not exactly sure what they used to, used to use to scoop it back in the day, but it is some kind of a scooper. And I just, again, love the word tones, especially for fall. I just, fall is it. So I'm going to use this on the bottom. Like so. <clears throat> and then I have quite a few creamers. I seem to have a thing about creamers. And every time we go to the thrift store, I always try to find the vintage creamers. And so far I've gotten pretty lucky and I have found some really great ones. So I have this one that's white. You know what, let me just adjust you just a little bit. So you can kind of see at the bottom. Okay. So I'm gonna start with the white one. I'm going to put it right in the center. Just like so, right behind there. And then I also have this thrifted really pretty blue one. And again, I know that I got dropped down. <laughs> again, I know blue is not always necessarily a fall color, but it is a cottage themed color. So I'm going to stick with it because anybody who knows me knows, I always say, if you love it, it brings you joy, then you should use it in your decor. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to be doing that right now. Right there. Then I have this other creamer and I don't know where this one was from, but it was thrifted and it does have a little bit of like a kind of flower design on it that's red. So I think it'll go good for fall and for Christmas. So I'm gonna keep this out for both seasons. So I'm gonna place this in here as well. There we go. Then I have, <clears throat> And this one's kind of old, so the, the backing is off. But I have this one too, with just the really pretty blue stripe on the bottom. Put that right there. Last but not least, I have a really pretty blue and green one, but this one, the stripes are on the top. So I thought that was like fun because everything else, the stripes are on the bottom. So we are going to place this one in as well. And then we just have to adjust a little bit, just like that. And I have one more copper piece left. And I used to put my tea bags in here. And oddly enough, it says tea right on it. <laughs> so we're gonna be using this one in our hutch as well. I have one more piece. So the last piece I have is just this heavy duty, kind of big rolling pin. And I try to collect rolling pins from any kind of vintage store, antique store, thrift store that I go to. I find them in all kinds of shapes and sizes, but this one I absolutely love just because it was so big. So I thought I would place that right at the bottom. So let me spin you around so I can show you the whole thing. Okay guys, so this is how my shelf turned out, my whole hutch. That's what we placed on the top. And on the first shelf. And the second shelf. And then our last shelf. Along with our rolling pin. And we have Mrs. Padmore's hat. We have a cute little vintage lamp. And then we have the two wreaths. Okay guys, well that is it. That is my hutch styling for fall of this year and for my cottage theme. And I think it came out just so pretty and something I think you would see in a cottage in England or France or even Italy, um, sitting there in the corner with all of their prized possessions. And I just love it. 
So thank you so much for joining me today and joining Jen and I in our fall collaboration. Don't forget, after you finish this video, to go over there and show Jen at Good Home some love. Tell her I said hello and that I sent you. And make sure you're subscribed to her channel. And if you're new and here, make sure you subscribe to mine because I'm sure I see a lot of collaborations in our future. And this is just the beginning of the fall season, so we have so many more videos to come. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you all have an excellent day. Don't forget to go say hi to Jen and hello to everybody who is new here. And I will see you in my next fall video. Bye guys, I'll see you very soon.